Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this one, I really quickly wanted to tell you a most exciting news. That's that OWASP, they have just released the draft version of their top 10 vulnerability in web applications. Now, if you don't know about OWASP, they're one of the organizations who maintains a list of top 10 vulnerabilities in web applications for a very long time, okay? And they, the last time they released the top 10, it was in 2017, and they just released a new 2021 version of it. And if you look at it from this to this, there's quite a bit of changes, and they have added three new type of attacks of vulnerabilities that are brand new that was not there previously. Some of them, okay, if you see over there for the broken access control and the security misconfiguration, they move to the very top, okay, and they group them together like a broken access control. Injection, which stayed at the very top position for a very, very long time, it has now moved down to the third position, okay, and that is still there. Injection is still a very common problem. Sensitive data exposure, this has moved up up in his position it's now and it's kind of under the cryptographic failures okay and then just go through this and you will see that some of these how they moved up and down in in their positions okay so the, the thing that i like i think they kind of grouped uh some of these vulnerabilities together okay into one like over here uh you see the broken access control it moves up from the fifth position 94 percent of applications were tested for some form of broken access control that's an unbelievable number that 94 percent of the web applications they have an access control problem so again access control in the industry it's a it's very very important okay now cryptographic failure and that according to their testing it's number two and you see it over here as well and what it is it is going to result in sensitive data exposure if your cryptographic system is exploited right injection uh 94 of the applications were tested for some form of injection and there were 33 cwe mapped into category okay uh next is insecure design it's a new category i think it's a very important one that they have added because a lot of applications if it's not designed from the very beginning in a very secure way you have a big security problem so you cannot always implement security at the last stage you have to think you have to think about security from the very beginning okay now security misconfiguration that moved up from six in the previous edition again secret misconfiguration it's so common that you would be amazed how you know organizations this really really struggle to make sure that all the security configurations are correct okay then we have vulnerability and outdated components and previously it was it was uh, titled using components with known vulnerabilities uh, and then we have identification and authentication failure and this was previously was part of the broken authentication and it's sliding down to the second position now uh, there are some more software and data integrity failures security logging and monitoring failures and the server side request forgery so look through this document and review how all these different controls are they have come up with okay and the relationship from 2017 they have really nice uh, diagram over here but but the main thing that i want you to take away from this uh, quick video that we have a new 2021 uh, OWO, owasp top 10 wave vulnerability that's available now uh, it's in the peer review they have introduced new types of vulnerabilities and injection which has been at the top vulnerability for a very long time has lost its pay place and broken access control has taken over the number one web vulnerability in the world today with that thank you for watching have a great day stay secure